Hello everybody, eFixer here. I've got for you today FTL, which stands for Faster Than Light. This is the advanced edition of the game, which came out, I don't know, about a year ago or so. The game originally came out in 2012. It's made by Subset Games. You can pick it up on Steam or Humble or whatever, usually for $10, and on sales you can get it for cheaper than that. So anyways, I, I recently put up a list of a whole bunch of games that I wanted to... LP and, and this was on the list. Everybody voted on it. And this is one of the top vote getters of people of, of what people wanted to, to see me LP. So I figured, hey, sounds like fun. Um this I'm not very good at this game. I'm gonna tell you right up front. I, I'm I'm not bad. I don't think I'm bad, but I've never beaten it. I've gotten to the final boss many times and he kicks my ass usually. Not always. But anyways, this is a, a roguelite game where you run a crew in a spaceship and you're trying to save the universe flying through these node-based areas, defeating bad guys, salvaging things and whatnot, and you build your spaceship up and and then you got these big bad guys who are trying to kill you along the way. Simple as that. Probably easier to show you than tell you. So anyways, we, you got a ship here and you can see our little guys here working. And these are humans. There are a few different races in the game, and there are a few different ships. You get new ships when you uh, beat the game and you unlock more. I have not beaten the game, so I have not unlocked these ships. So this one, I think these two are the only two I can play right now. And there are more than that. Anyways, I'm going with this classic ship here. So you've got these these guys, these crew members in here, and they all have different skills, and uh, I can show you guys later. Here we go. Can we customize? I can rename them. I don't want to do that. So if you look at the top right over here when I hover, uh, Roper is a human. Humans are common and uninteresting. Skill improves slightly faster. So each race has a different type of buff that they get. Um... These are your weapons. You're allowed four weapons here. This is an Artemis missile. You'll see again up here when I hover over it. Required power one, charge time 11 seconds. So some of them uh, require more power but do more damage. Some will pierce shields. Some will cause fires. Things like that. And then you got drones if you have a, a drone station here. So these are different stations inside the, the ship. This is the cockpit. This is um, security. This controls doors, and that's what these little orange things are. Um, I'm sorry. This is not the doors. This is the doors here. This is security, which lets you view what's going on in here and in other ships, I believe. This is the med bay. These are your shields. These are your weapons or your oxygen. And this is your engine. And you can... Um, give more power to these things and you can buff each one of these things shields you get large more shields that means things can it takes a while for things to penetrate then before it does actual damage to your hull things like that um and these empty areas are usually things that you can add such as a drone system i don't remember which room it goes in and of course these can be manned by individuals and when they are manned by a person they get temporary buffs so if you were to leave the station, the buff would disappear. So um, the Advanced Edition brings basically more types of stations that you can put in your ship. Um, more content, new races, new events, new weapons, more ships, things like that. And we're going to enable that. I don't think there's any new starting ship, no. All right, so we start with three humans, and, and humans, I'm not a big fan of the humans, but we may be able to get more people. So we're going to start a game. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleets. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing Rebel Fleet can catch before the pursuing Rebel Fleet can catch up. Tip: System damage when a system fully breaks due to fire or borders. The hull also takes one damage. Continue. So the game is paused. Um, I got my, my weapons down here. So here we are. We got shields. We have engines. We have med bay. And we have O2. And we can... Can I... 
there we go I can take power away from all these things so this is how much power we have and I can, and you can purchase more later on and you can distribute it to these various varying systems so I can put it into my shields I could put one or two into my engines and you'll see I can't hover over it but if you'll see it pop up there we go level one dodge uh, manned evasion plus five par uh, status is partially powered you bump it up and then your dodge goes up to 10 and your um, FTL is a little bit quicker so the more power you put into it the the better it is med bay O2 and power we don't really need power to our med bay yet so we've got three power going into our weapons and so this right here tells you how much power it requires so I can power on I don't need to do that I guess since there's not an enemy here I can't click it but anyways I got enough power to both my weapons so we got sus subsystems here here's the pilot and you need to pilot in order to fly it, it needs to be working these individual areas can get damaged and you have to fix them before they work properly again and sensors the security area and the doors the doors you can open them all at once or close them all or you can open and close them individually if you want that comes into play when you get boarded you got your people up here and those are their skills over here on the right the more they work a certain area the better their skill is and once they level they get a little bit more buffs etc there's my current evade and my current oxygen i only got one shield this is my hull basically my hit points here and this is my scrap total. This is basically the currency in the game. You can use this to purchase weapons and more workers and things like that and more power. Uh, that's the amount of fuel. Each jump uh, takes one fuel. These are the amount of missiles I have. So every time I fire, fire in an Artemis, then it takes up a missile. However, a burst laser does not take up a missile because it is based on energy, I guess. It just needs to recharge. And I have two drone parts, although I don't have any drone stations, so it doesn't really matter. Over here, this is the ship button. These are my upgrades. So you can see I got two shields, and I, I can upgrade it all the way up to here. And it tells you on the side here what each upgrade will get you. So dodge, you start out at 5 and 10. I'm at 10 right now. I'm pointing to the screen like you guys can see my finger, right? And then next one will get me 15, 20, and so on. O2, it refills the O2 in the ship quicker. Weapons, you get more power. Um, down here, piloting, you get more evasion. Sensors, uh, the first step you can see the enemy ship interior. The next one you can see the em enemy's weapon charge. And over here, the doors, you get blast doors. It just makes them stronger for when you get boarded. And this is how many power bars you, you have to distribute. So you got a crew, the uh, max amount of crew you can have is eight. And your equipment, you can have four extra uh, weapons and whatnot in the cargo. And there's augmentations, which are basically other types of buffs. And you can pick those up along the way. So this game is completely procedurally generated, so no two playthroughs are, are really alike. Alright, so game is paused, we unpause it, you got your weapons over here. And I can jump. So we jump, and here we are. This is a node-based system. Uh, so you can jump to these light, these stars here, and it'll tell you, if you hover over it, information about it, um, if you're buffed to see it. Right now I'm not, so it just says an unvisited location. Although over here I can tell that this is in a nebula. So when you're in a nebula, you get debuffed a little bit. First off, um, your sensors don't work properly. You cannot see into the other person's ship and varying other debuffs. Um, the bonus when going into Nebula is, is that you um, slow down the rebels. So basically, what it is, is you're trying to get to the exit here, and as you're going, each turn you take, the rebel line will get closer to you. It's like a barrier pushing you. Once it catches up to you, it's bad news. So you're trying to flee them to get to the exit. When you go inside a Nebula, it slows down the barrier a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to jump to th this star here, I think, because it's connected to a whole bunch of stars. And maybe we'll be able to see ahead of, of what's going on. So we're going to jump to the next one. And this was a poor choice. This was a very poor choice. So we're... Um, 
Uh, the, this beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious of the danger of the sun, moves to, in to engage. So my problem is here, I've got a pirate here who's going to want to fight me, and i got a star that's going to send out, um, I don't know what they are, I guess solar flares that are going to damage me. So I need to get the hell out of here because this is a really bad choice. In fact, this, this couldn't have been, you can't pick a more worse first spot to uh to jump to so i need to get the hell out of here as soon as my ftl drive charges um in the meantime let's continue and we're paused so what i want to do i want to take my artemis and i want to target his systems i can actually target his cockpit his shields his weapons his engine or his o2 and they'll do various various things so if I take out his shields, that gives me access to just pen to pound his hull. That sounds fantastic. And, and do damage. Here's his hull here. Once his hull goes down to zero, he's dead. I can damage his engine, which will prevent him from running away. I can damage his weapons, which will prevent him from shooting at me. Uh, I can damage his cockpit, which will ruin his evasion and prevent him from running away. Or I can damage his O2, which will suffocate his people. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot at his shields and you'll see that um, down here you got this red bar. Once this red bar fills up to the top, then the weapon will shoot. And when that happens, I'm going to fire my burst laser on his weapons so he can't fire back. Because there's one thing, I'm pausing the game, there's one thing you don't want in this game is to take damage. You want to avoid damage as much as you possibly can because it's a pain in the ass to get repaired so here we are so i'm going to pause it my missile is going to hit the shield and you notice that he fired as well i don't know where he's firing um but we'll find out in a second but as soon as this missile hits i'm going to fire at his his weapons all right so here we go it hit his shield his shield disappeared here that means he's vulnerable it says his shields are down now I can take my burst laser, attack the uh, weapons. So I fired three shots and the first one missed, but the next two hit. His weapons are down. So this guy says, please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have, except their offer, which is actually pretty great. Or I can refuse, take him down completely, and then hopefully I can salvage more than what he's offering. So right now he's offering... A, a weapon here and which is pretty nice to have early on so I'm going to accept this offer because another thing I need to worry about here is the solar flare from this Sun and I need to get the hell out of here quick this will end the fight and let me get out of here quick so this is ideal I'm gonna accept the offer he's gonna go on his merry way and my FTL drive is going to charge up so right now I am uh, in danger of getting a flare. It should probably give me a warning any second now. Maybe not. There it is. Solar flare imminent. I pause the game. I'm ready to jump. So when the solar flare hits, it's going to hit one or more of these compartments and it's going to set them on fire. And that means my guys have to go put out the fire. Um, if it hits my engine, that's a problem. That means I can't leave yet. So I want to get out of here before the flare hits. So now I'm connected to all these nodes, and in each episode I'm going to do one trip to the exit. And, and you'll see once I get to this exit how many there are. So each episode is going to be one of these trips to the exit. So these are all just generic areas. None of them seem to be special. So I'm going to hop here because this one seems to be connected to the most nodes. And we escape safely. Alright, an advanced rebel automated ship Remain stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I can attack the ship and get to the storage cache, or I can avoid provoking the ship. So you run into some of these sometimes where you get a choice on what to do. And it can be completely random whether it's good or bad. This one has a little bit less randomness to it. Basically, I can not provoke the ship. Sometimes he'll attack anyways, and sometimes I can just go on my merry way. But I, I want to attack it, and I want to see what I can get. So we're going to attack it. And you'll notice now I've got that chain gun down here. The problem is it needs two power in order for it to work. And I've only got three power total. And I've got it distributed to Artemis and the burst laser. So I can't even use this gun yet. 
I can use it later once I get more power to distribute to it. All right, so Artemis is going up. I need to set a... We're going to hit... See, this guy doesn't have a shield. It's just a drone. He's got an engine, a cockpit. I don't know why there's a cockpit if it's just a drone. But auto scout. I don't think there's anybody in this. And weapons. So we're going to hit the weapons so he can't fire back. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, he got a shot off. It hit my shield. And you'll notice my shield that I had around here disappeared. So that means I'm vulnerable to attack right now. But he doesn't have a second shot lined up, I don't think. Oh, yes, he did. All right, so here we go. I hit his uh, weapons. That means he's not going to be able to fire again. I have a laser. I'm going to hit his weapons again. So he hit me with another laser over here, and I've got fire in this cabin. What I can do is I can open up these doors, and I can vent it to the outside, and it'll get rid of the fire. Or alternatively, I can send my guys there to put it out. While they're putting it out, though, they will take damage. So this is preferred as, for me anyways, I guess... Some people may not like doing it this way. Alright, so... I hit his weapons uh, twice. If they're down, he's not going to get back up. I'm going to get another shot off beforehand. There he goes. He gets destroyed. Everybody's happy. You salvage what you can from the broken ship, you get 16, which is not very good. Oh, I investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Alright, so this is good. I came out ahead on that one. So now you see this red area here. That means that it, there's no oxygen. So if I were to send a guy in there, he would start taking damage from suffocation. So I close the doors, and now they'll slowly disappear. Very slowly. There they go. And as long as it's still pink, I think I'll take damage if I go in there. But we're not going to do so. Well, maybe we will. Here, let's vent it. See him taking damage? Now what you do is you take him and put him in med bay, and med bay doesn't have any power now, so he's not getting healed. So let's uh, let's give the med bay power, and you see him healing. And if you put more points into the med bay, they'll heal quicker, which comes in handy in the heat of battle, especially if you're boarded. All right, let's get him back on weapons, and let's get power off of the med bay and back into the laser. In fact, I can probably buy a power bar. So here we are. These are power bars. They cost 20 scrap, and I've got 47. So I'm going to buy a power bar, and then I, now I have an extra one here. I can put it into my bed bay, med bay so I don't have to worry about it. All right, let's jump. Here we are. This is the rebels. These are the guys that are pushing me. If this line reaches me, then I face a very strong rebel ship with very little reward. You want to avoid it at all costs. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head into a nebula just so you guys can see what a nebula entails. So you got all this purple cloudy stuff around us. We're getting boarded. You see a small station nearby and feel the shudder of shots ringing through the ship. You can't be sure without sensors, but it seems there may be intruders. So here we are. This is this is not a good situation. We're in a nebula, which, which messes with my sensors, so I cannot see throughout my ship. Even worse is that I got intruders on board and I don't know where. So I can highlight all my guys and I can search the ship so I can take them out. So we're going to check this area here. Nope. Let's check there. Nope, he's not there. Let's go up here and let's go in there. Nope, maybe they're in the back. Oh, there they are. They, they took out the O2. So here we are. They're probably moving into the engine room. There they are. So my, my guys are going to fight. Now the combat in this isn't very... It's all automatic. You know, there isn't anything special to it. You have four squares here. And then of course some of these have two. So each person takes up a square. So right now they've got two people boarding. And they're going to fight one-on-one -on -one here. And then my third guy is just going to attack whoever else. Uh, meanwhile, my O2 on my ship is depleting. So we're going to let this go. I should be fine, I think. So once I kill this guy here, both these two are going to turn their attention to this guy. So this guy's about to die here. Now they're going to turn their attention. Now he's dead. Pause. So I got this guy with full health, and these two guys are dying. And I'm running out of O2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this guy 
to the O2 station so he can repair it. Then this guy over here and this guy over here so they can get healed up. Unpause. So he's repairing the O2. And down here, you'll see the yellow bar. That's him repairing it. These guys are getting healed. All right, so they're done. Everybody's done. So I think I can hit this part, this button here, and that returns my crew back to their stations. And everybody's happy. And now, if you look on... Oh, I need to put get this guy healed up. He's got a little bit of damage. There we go. So now if I hover over Shelton, you'll... Well, I need someone... Why is it blocking it? Uh. So you'll see on Shelton, the engine has a little bit of a green area because he's been operating the engine. His level is increasing. His That fist down there, that's his fighting ability. That's also increased because he got into a fight. All right, we're jumping. Uh, we can go to another Nebula. I really... Nebulas can be a pain, but I really like it because it slows them down. Which is what I'm going to do. Go to another nebula. You find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby. The remains of a battle. You begin to harvest uh, some usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard, followed by shouts of a boarding party. I got another weapon, but I got another boarding party. Which is not very common to have this many boarding parties. Alright, so I'm... S oh, they're in the cockpit. Alright, so let's send a guy up here. So this is not good. I can't have a third person to overpower them. This is just going to be two 1v1s. And they already got a head start. Oh, shit. All right, so this is bad. This is really bad. Basically, what's probably going to happen is they're going to overwhelm me a little bit, and I'm going to have to retreat to the med bay and rely on the med bay healing me while, while we fight. This is not going to be very good, guys. So I'm changing this guy out and putting this guy in. They're taking down my shields for whatever reason. Oh! Alright, so I wasn't paying attention. And this is another thing with the game. you got to pay attention. You'll notice when you're in a nebula, you do lose power sometimes. That's what these blue bars are. I, I don't have that power allocated to me. And um, for some reason, the power came off of my med base. So my guy wasn't healing then. I've got it there now. I need to put power in my oxygen too because my guys need to breathe. All right, so what I need to do is I need to retreat all my guys into the med bay. All right, here we are. This this is going to be close, guys. All right, what happened? They left. I don't want them to leave. They're taking out the engine. Okay, so this guy's about to die. There we go. Let's get him out of there. Oh, I can't have him in there. All right, so these guys... Oh, this is not good. They destroyed the med bay. All right. Um... No bueno. So they got... All right. They've moved on somewhere else. They're probably destroying the doors. They are. All right. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna let them destroy whatever they want. Because I need to heal up. They're destroying my weapons. All right, let's go do this. They should be done. All right, good. Now they're going to repair stuff. So that was a close call. That's not very normal to get two boarding parties real quick like that. So now I've got all these damaged systems that aren't working and I need to repair them. So we'll send uh, each guy to their own station here so they can repair. And um, the this little uh, wrench here, this is what um, the repair skill is. These guys aren't very good at repairing. But you'll see it increasing because they're actually doing it. Alright, so that's done, and that's done. Let's get those guys over there in the cockpit. Picks that up. So we've had a pretty crazy beginning so far. Alright, everybody, everything's fixed up. Let's send them all back to their stations. And we need power to the engine so we can jump. There we go. You notice if I have no power to my engine, the jump button does not highlight. So I need power to the engine. Alright. Store! That's going to be nice to have. So, the store, you can buy more weapons, you can hire people, all that jazz. So you want as much money as possible before you go to the store. The rebels are way back here. 
they're, they got a, a good deal away, so I don't want to go to the store just yet. I want to hit up a place or two before I do that. So I'm going to head down here first. Maybe get some more money. All right. A small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try to lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. All right, so we're paused. Let's get power over to the weapons. We'll use the Artemis. And we'll target his shields. And then once the shields are down, I'm going to take a shot at the weapons. So here we are. This is going to be a tough ship. He's got a lot of hit points here. All right, so he's got a shot off. It hit the shield right here, so my shield's going to disappear momentarily. And if he gets another shot in, I'll be vulnerable. All right, so I hit his shields, so I'm going to laser his weapon so he can't fire again. There you go. See, his weapon's contracted, retracted, and he won't be able to fire. So right now, he's actually got people in there going to repair the, the weapons. I only got five missiles left, so I don't think I'm going to fire more missiles. I'm going to stick with the laser and save my missiles. So I'm going to fire on the weapons again. And as long as I keep doing this, um, I'll be fine. All right, so they're looking to surrender. They're offering two missiles, one drone, and ten scrap. That's not a whole lot. I'm not going to accept their surrender. And, oh, he went back to shields. So we'll hit the shields. You see the little doors opening. That's his people running around. There he goes. He's dead. All right, so we got two, one, and 17. 17 scrap. So we made out ahead a little bit, was it? I don't know. Not a whole lot if we did. No big deal. All right, let's jump. We'll go over here before we go to the store. Let's see what this is. Mercenaries are swarming the galaxy now, knowing that their less than legal services are in demand during this period of unrest. One is waiting at the speak and inhales you. I can hire him to delay the rebel rebels. I can hire the mercenary to scout the sector. I can fight or I don't need his services. Now these are pretty handy. So delaying the rebels obviously is fantastic. Scouting the sector will let you know where all the stores are and other perhaps beneficial things. So both of these are actually really handy, and I, I like them, but they, they're they a little pricey. Um, I think I'd rather delay the Rebels. So we delayed the Rebels by two jumps, which means we're going to have more time to explore. Which basically means we're going to make the episode longer. Alright. So I'm going to hit up this place up here. So here are the Rebels. I'll have a lot of time. Alright, we'll go here. I'll have a lot of time before I hit the store. That way I'll have enough money to actually buy stuff. All right, a small shuttle. It's a scout. All right, so he's got a drone over here. Now, this drone is a combat drone, and what he'll do is he'll just keep attacking me. So we'll attack his shields, and then once that's done, we'll probably just attack his guns. I don't think the drone's going to be able to penetrate my shield. Yeah, see, he's not doing anything to my shield. Uh-oh. All right, so he attacked this room for whatever reason. I got a missile here about to hit his shields. His shields are down, now I'm going to attack his weapons. Alright, so weapons are no longer a problem. So let's, um... I think we'll just go after weapons again. He should go down with this hit, as long as I don't miss. There he goes. Alright, um... 3 fuel and 12 scrap. I'm not getting a whole lot of scrap here. This is not... Oh, there's another store. Okay. Oh, no. Alright, I don't like that I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit. But I, I, I like to visit as many stores as possible, so we'll do this. It's going to be a waste of a step later on, but I'm okay with that. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Buy one slave and free them and join to join your crew. Attack them or ignore them. So... If you attack them, I think you get a slave out of it anyways. This is Matt. That's a lot of... I'm going to attack him. Alright, so let's get an Artemis on his shields. And then we'll laser attack his weapons as soon as the shields go down. And that's going to be my main strategy for this run. Alright, so missile off. We'll see how it goes. I missed. Alright, so let's laser the shields. Alright, so I'm going to take my Artemis down because I don't want to waste missiles. And now I'm going to attack the weapons. 
Fantastic. So his weapons are orange. They're not completely down, but they're orange. Let's tack them one more time. Fantastic. All right, now let's go after his shields just in case they come up. Yep, they came up. There's the shields. So it's going to absorb at least one of my shots. There you go. I'm going to have to tackle him one more time. All right, he got one gun up, so he might get a shot off. We'll see. Here it goes. Enemy ship appears to be powering up his FTL. It's trying to escape, so basically I need to take him down before he escapes, which is going to happen right now. All right, I didn't get a slave out of it. But that guy was too expensive anyways. All right. I think um I think we're going to I think we're going to head up here. I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it real close. You're immediately contracted contacted by a settlement. Hello travelers, your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take a bit of a mercenary work? All right, so this could go Good or bad. Um, I do want more people. But what could happen is I could bring him aboard and he could turn on me and kill me. This could be a, a Trojan horse. But we'll see. We'll listen to the offer. Um, a space dock is under assault from the rebels. Although the dock is technically illegal within their laws, it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. Okay. They transmit the space dock's coordinates. Alright. So, there's the quest there. So if I go there, I'll get some bonus... Um, scrap and whatnot, which I'm going to try to do if we can not get hit by the rebels. This is going to be close, guys. Alright. Space Station here was has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Okay. So, um, they have drone control, they have a teleporter, and a clone bay. So basically, drone will let me um, uh, launch these drones that could protect me or attack the bad guy. A crew teleporter will let me board their ship, and a clone bay will basically let me respawn in case one of my guys that die, guy dies. They have these crew uh, men available. These guys are fantastic for boarding. So these aliens, if you see on the right here, the mantis, they inflict 1.5 damage in combat. They have 1.2 percent, uh, 1.2 times the movement speed, and have the re repair speed. These guys, the rockmen, they're immune to fire. They're very slow, and they have a lot of health. And the engineer, NG, I should say, he can repair twice as fast, but he can't do any damage in, in battle, um, uh, handing in combat. So, in this store, I can buy uh, more fuel, more missiles, more drones. I can fix my, my haul. I can fix just one or all of it. I can sell items. And I think I might do that, actually. A burst laser chain or a burst actually i like these both um i don't need this one because i got a two so we'll sell this one um 25 scrap we'll do that all right and there's a second page here so he's got a couple lasers himself i don't need any of these ion blast will disable a system temporarily it just doesn't damage it all right so I think I want to get another guy on board here. These guys are so good to have when you got a boarding party. Um, I don't use Rockman too much myself, but I, I do like NGs and I do like Mantis. They're, they're a little pricey though. I think I'm gonna go with it though. We'll get a Mantis and then we'll repair our hull. All right, let's go to our ship, our crew. There's Remo. So Remo is right here and we're gonna assign him to I guess the shields and I'll set that as a save point so my guys all right let's jump here we've already been here before nothing to do I guess I could have gone up here actually let's do that all right your scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. All right, so that's just a dead area. Oh, man, guys, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Let's go to the quest and not the store. Oh, this is going to be close. See, so the problem is I need to get to the exit. So can I go here, 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 here before they hit me? I don't think I can. 
I think I can get two nodes before I hit the exit. I don't think I can get three. So my choice comes, do I want the store or do I want the quest? I'm gonna go with the quest. This still may be a bad decision. Engage the rebel and, res and rescue the space dock. All right, so this is a tough ship here. So I am going to uh, faster charge, possible effect fire. Cruise with consecutive shots. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the burst laser for now. I'm gonna hit his shields and then I'll burst laser his weapons. He's got a, a protection drone here too. What kind is it? I don't know. Oh, he missed. There we go. Hit his weapons. Bam, bam, bam. All right, fantastic. So we'll hit shields next to keep him down. It's an anti-combat drone. I think what that will do is that will destroy any drones I send at him. So drones would be pretty much useless against this guy unless I take down the drone. Which I think I did. Oop. Sorry, not paying attention. Alright, so it's down. I get 13 scrap. And... Oh! I get to... Oh, fantastic. So, I don't have a whole lot of money, unfortunately. Ooh. Long range scanners. Alright. So these are augmentations. I got a repair arm, which repairs your hull every time you collect scrap. I don't like the repair arm. I like my scrap to be spent elsewhere. Long range scanners, which are really nice because you get to see where the stars are ahead of time. And an automated reloader, which cool down between weapon shots to improve by 10%, which is also nice. But I like long range scanners. I'm going for that. So if you look at my equipment, I got long range scanners. That's going to be really handy. Let's jump. <gasps> so my scanners now tell me that there's going to be a ship here. And over here, you'll see there's a ship and a nebula or a, an asteroid field. So that's what my long range scanner is going to tell me. So it looks like I'll be able to make it out of here without getting hit by the rebels. All right, let's fight. Let's get our Artemis out on the shields. Oops, that's not the shields. And then our, uh oh. So he just sends a drone that's going to attack my shields, which disables them temporarily. Or at least until I take it out, which is not good, which means all his shots are going to hit me. There we go. So his weapons are down. I want to get rid of his shields again. And then, then take that thing down. Alright, so it's no longer screwing with my shields. Let's get rid of the rockets because I don't want to use them up and go after his shields. And I need to repair my O2. Fantastic. Alright, let's get the guy in O2. Um, 17 scrap. Eh, not the best, but I've got lots of fuel, which is always nice to not worry about. Maybe I should get him some help. Get a repair. Oh, there we go. All right. And now, see, we're in the warning track here, but this is where the rebel fleet actually is. So we're cutting it really close. I would not have been able to hit the store as well, I don't think. So we're going to hit up the exit, and the exit doesn't have any bad guys at it. It's usually you've arrived at the long range beacon. When the upfield drive is charged, you can jump to the next set sector. Continue. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwreck that can perform emergency work on military ships. Okay. Uh oh. They offer to upgrade your reactor in exchange for some scrap. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, you let them work on board. After a short time, they finished their work. Upgraded the reactor by one. So that was, um, they gave me a power bar and they gave me it for a cheap price. So I made out on that, even though I didn't have a lot of scrap, I made out on top on that. All right, so we can actually jump to the next sector here and I'm gonna click on that. And here is the sector map. We are currently right here. And what I'm gonna do is each one of these nodes is gonna be an episode. And so you follow this line all the way to the very end. The green areas are civilian, so that means that they're mostly populated by stars like what we just experienced. The purple one means that it's heavily um, inside a nebula, so you'll see a lot of nebulas in there. And then the red ones would just mean more enemies, it's a hostile area. So I think what I want to do is, I think um, Zoltan controlled. 
That's an alien race, by the way. You'll see them. Um, I think what we're going to do is probably hit this one up, because I think I want to hit the nebula. So I'm going to hit this one up. And now we're in a new area. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when when you when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. So we're in a new area, and we'll continue here in the next episode. So that's FTL, guys. The Advanced Edition. You can get it for $10 on Steam. It's well worth the price, man. It's an absolutely fun game. Even if you're bad at it, it's fun. At least it is for me. So go ahead and pick it up because it's a, a great game. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.